Welcome to Electra Online. Here's an example of how to find the actual parametric equations of a line in space. The line goes to the point 316 and is parallel to the vector 2i plus 5j plus 1k. First what we do is we draw the position vector to the known point and we'll call that the r sub naught vector. We can then write that the r sub naught vector is equal to 3i plus 1j plus 6 now we have the vector to the unknown point or to the arbitrary point P. We can call that the R vector, the position vector to the arbitrary point or the unknown point. So we can write the R vector as being equal to x in the i direction plus y in the j direction plus z in the k direction. Now we define the vector A, which runs from the known point to the arbitrary point. We'll call that vector A. We can write that vector A is going to be equal to some parameter times the V vector, because we know that A and the A vector and the V vector are parallel to one another, and we know that either A is bigger than vector V, the magnitude of vector A, or the vector A, the magnitude of vector A, is smaller than the vector V. But we can go ahead and equate the two to one another by multiplying the vector v by some parameter t. So we can write that a is equal to t times the vector v, which is equal to t times the vector v is 2i plus 5j plus 1k, which means we can write the a vector as being 2t in the i direction plus 5t in the j direction plus 1t in the k direction. Now using vector addition, we can see that the r vector is simply the sum of the r sub naught plus the a vector. We can then write r is equal to r sub naught plus the a vector, which means that the r vector, which is written as, right there, x times i plus y times j plus z times k, that then must be equal to the r sub naught vector, which is the 3 times i plus 1 times j plus 6 times k, add it to the a vector, which can be written like this. So that would be 2t in the i direction, plus 5t in the j direction. Oop, not so fast, not done yet. And plus 1t in the k direction. Now we can see that we can add those two together. That means we have x in the i direction, plus y in the j direction, plus z in the k direction then will become equal to 3 plus 2t in the i direction plus 1 plus 5t in the j direction plus 6 plus 1t in the k direction. And of course, if this is equal to one another, then we know that x must be equal to this, y must be equal to this, and z must be equal to that, and those become the parametric equations of this line. We then write x equals 3 plus 2t. We write y equals 1 plus 5t. And we write z equals 6 plus 1t. And those are then the three parametric equations that describe this particular line in space, which goes to the point 316 and is parallel to the vector 2i plus 5j plus 1k. Notice all you need to do is pick any t, you let t equal 1, t equals 2, t equals 3, doesn't matter, any number is fine, and that will then give you a value for x, y, and z. Pick a different number for t, you'll get a different number for x, y, and z. Notice for each value of t, you have one specific set of values for x, y, and z, and that's how that line in space is defined. As an example, let's just try it. Let t equals 2, if we let t equals 2, then we can write then, then, and just come over here, if t equals 2, that's 4 plus 3 is 7, then x equals 7, and notice that y will be 11, and z would be 8, which means these would then be the coordinates for another point of the line, x equals 7, y equals 11, z equals 8, which means we have one point of the line that was known, and the second point of the line can then be found by just picking any value for t using these three parametric equations. That's how that's done.